All righty then. <laughs> oh, technology is so much fun. Some days you just have to be, uh, you just have to think in terms of, you know, on one hand, uh, I had at the office, the internet was down. And so I had to rush home and, and set up. And, um, you know, not that that's a big deal, but, uh, you know, in my frustration, I sometimes have to remind myself, do you know how lucky we are that we can have backup plans like this? And, you know, and our biggest issue is the audio doesn't work for five minutes or, or whatever. And um, I was, I, I'm always reminded, I always think of uh, my grandfather who, uh, you know, whenever I get frustrated, I think of the fact that like that man plowed fields in the morning at 4.30 in the morning every single day before he went to work at the sawmill every single day. So, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, this is no big deal, but <laughs> it sure is frustrating. <laughs> So how's everyone doing today? Um, anyway, it uh, looks like we have uh, some new people again, which is great. Um, so, well, thanks for joining. Uh, and and uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Jerone, Jerone, is it Jerone? Um, Yarun, uh, that was my sixth guess. Okay, Yarun, got it. Thank you. Um, and then we have a few uh, of our regulars. So um, uh, I appreciate you guys coming and having patience with me uh, every week. I think last week was the first week that we had no technical issues. And then I was uh, looking forward to this week being the same. But um, anyway, how's my sound? I'm using headphones that I'm not that I don't normally use also. Is my sound okay? Or is it too loud? Is it coming a little too hot? Okay, great. Um, well, Yarun, um, so uh, so that you know, this all, of course, gets put up on YouTube. And uh, feel free to log into YouTube, subscribe to our channel, watch all the awesome content that we've been putting up. Um, we're putting up uh, one, WP 101 videos uh, very regularly. Um, you may be beyond the 101s, but you know, there's even stuff in the 101s that I see that... Uh, that um, I think I've been using a feature for a while and I look at the 101s and I'm like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. So uh, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, thanks for for uh, subscribing. And uh, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about the code snippets extension. Um, I really like code snippets. They're, they're such a huge time saver. Um, and uh, so I hope that you, uh, you, you enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to get it started uh, as usual. It, takes me just a couple seconds to get things going. So um, bear with me. Hopefully you'll have sound on the video and everything will be good. Um, while I'm doing that, if you all want to just shout out where you're from, that would be great. I'm in Northern California. Uh, and uh, oh, yes, I always forget to, to say that. Um, yeah, you need to click on the video. One other announcement before I forget. There is not going to be an office hours next week. I will be traveling. I'm going to WordCamp Canada. And uh, so um, there will not be an office hours next week. So uh, just a heads up. And Belgium. My uncle lives in Belgium. My uncle and aunt live in Belgium. My, my, uh, my dad's uh, brother-in-law and sister. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, WordCamps always have priority. I'm, re I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm speaking. And so that's going to be uh, that's going to be uh, entertaining as always. So um, let me go ahead and uh, give me just a moment, and I will get the video started. And it's about a this one's only about uh, nine minutes long. And then if you have any questions, uh, we have uh, the team here. We got Boyan, we have uh, Bogdan, we have uh, Dennis here, and then uh, you know Yost is always very helpful. And uh, and so uh, let me get this going, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. So give me one second. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you our main WP code snippets extension. This is a pro extension that can be installed and run from your main WP dashboard. Let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, 
Once you've installed your code snippets extension from your dashboard, you'll see that it appears in your left-hand side menu here. Let's go ahead and go into that. And you can see you have uh, here basically a code editor. Now you can put in your own code, or we actually have a GitHub repository that has several pieces of code that you can that you can put in. And I'm just gonna show you what uh, what options there are available to you. There are code snippets that are very specific to uh, various plugins and themes, and they're available right here in the GitHub repository. If you go to the main WP repository on GitHub and go to the code snippets functions, you'll see that you have several options available to you. You have three directories, one that adds functions to the wp-config.php file, you have one that executes a function on a child site, and then you have one that just returns information from the child site. And when I get into the code snippet uh, extension and how we use it, you'll see how this falls into place. Now out of the box, the code snippets extension actually does have some save snippets installed. I'm gonna show you how to run these, uh, these snippets, and then you can create new ones and load them as well. So let's say, for instance, you want to remove the admin bar from the front end. As you can see here, it says the type is that it executes a function. So let's go ahead and load that in. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up the code editor and it's going to show you this filter. Show admin return false. So this is just on the front end. So the idea is that when you add this filter in, when you go to the front end of your site, if you're logged in as an admin, it's not going to show the admin bar. So once I've added this piece of code into my code snippet, I can select which sites that I want to install it on. I'm going to go ahead and install it on both of my sites here. And I'm going to save and execute the script and it's going to ask me confirm that I want it installed and it's going to go ahead and it's going to save that snippet and execute it and gives you these current progress and once it's done it'll say processed uh, process completed successfully so now that that's done let's go and see how that looks on the child site so if I go to my sites and let's go ahead and log into the dashboard of my site. And uh, you'll see that I have my admin dashboard here. Now, if that snippet worked correctly, and I go to the front of my site, that admin bar should disappear. And sure enough, it does. Now, in order to remove it, let's say that I want to have my admin bar show back up. I can go back here to my code snippets extension. And if I go and I load that same snippet again, remove admin bar, if I go here, it's gonna bring this in, it's gonna show me which sites that's installed on. It's installed on my two sites as we know. So if I want to remove it, all I have to do is deselect those and then save and execute the script. And then it's gonna remove it from those two sites. So we have the current progress, once again, saving the snippet, save successfully, and then it says no selected sites to proceed, process complete. So now, if I go and I look, and I click on this, and go into my dashboard on my site, and then go to the front, well, we should see an admin bar both on the back end, like we do here, and then if I go to the front end, we see the dashboard. So the snippet was removed from the site. Now going back to the GitHub repository, you can see that we've got those three file folders that I talked about, the adding functions, the executing a function, and uh, returning information from the child site. Um, I uh, These are pretty cool uh, because you can just go through and you can do all the functions that you might add to your WP config file and you can do it all from your dashboard. So if you wanted to disable automatic WordPress updates, you could do that from your, uh, from your dashboard, from your uh, snippet, code snippet editor there. Um, and, and you can see that you just have uh, actually several options, pretty much every WP config option that you can think of, along with some very specific things like things that affect WordPress, I mean WordFence, uh, Updraft Plus, 
uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that's pretty cool. And then if you go and you look into the execute uh, a function from a, on a child site, you can see that we have very specific uh, codes as well. Advanced custom fields, affiliate WP, Beaver Builder, I'm just randomly looking at things, contact form seven, uh, all the way on down. Um, so you can actually do a lot of uh, configuration. You can change site logo to different URL and cadence. You can change the WooCommerce product loop title tags. And so if we wanted to look at that just to see what it looks like, it's just your standard functions and actions uh, that you can add in here uh, that make it really easy. And what's nice is you can do it, like let's say for instance that you have cadence on all of your sites, you can do it straight from the dashboard, throw it into that code snippets, and then you can have everything right there centralized on your dashboard, which is uh, really, you know, super convenient and a huge time saver. And then there's these options for returning, uh, returning information from a child site. So you can, let's just go into Gutenberg. You can remove the Gutenberg NAG banner, um, which, <laughs> Uh, probably most of us uh, are tired of if we see it. So go ahead and poke around in the repository and of course you can write your own scripts as well. The other thing that I wanted to show you was this was a script just to give you an example. This was a script that uh, that one of the uh, staff members wrote the other day because we were wanting to check uh, to see if certain files existed within our, our theme or plugin directory. And so uh, we wrote a script. And when I say we, I mean somebody on the staff. I had nothing to do with it. And uh, I've already added it. It's called file scan. And what it'll do is it'll go through your plugins and themes directory and look for a specific file. This is useful, for instance, if you have, uh, if you happen to know that uh, there's been some sort of a, a, a hack or something and you need to find a file uh, that might be causing issues on your site. You can go in and you can use this and all you have to do is you just need to fill something in here in the uh, array here. So right now I've got main WP child .php put in here, but I'm just going to put in, you know, nothing .php just, and what I should get, and then I'm going to do that down here as well. So what that should do is once I've entered this, uh, now this is a return info from child sites, which is how I had saved it. And then I'm just going to save and execute. Now this should show that it did not find any of those files because these are just made up file names. Files are not found on the site. So you can very quickly find out if those files are there. Now, if the file does exist, so let's change it to uh, main WP child .php. It should return that it found these uh, files. So let's go ahead and see what we find. And it says files are found on the site. So it tells you how many files is scanned and whether or not it found the files. If it did find the files, then you can go in, you can hunt them down, and you can get rid of them if you need to, or you can do whatever you need to do with them. This should go without saying, but uh, you know, just in case, anytime you change any code or add any code to your site, uh, you, you do run the risk of something happening. So please keep that in mind before you add any code. So that's a pretty quick rundown on how the code snippet extension works. We hope that you like it. We'd love to see what kind of ideas you come up with and we'd love it if you share it with us. As usual, anything you share with us, I'd be happy to uh, feature on office hours and, uh, and share with the rest of the main WP community. Thanks a lot. So there you have it. Um, uh, yes, I noticed that you made a comment um, so what you're saying here is that uh, <clears throat> when when you run the execute a function, it's running it on all the sites. Uh, if, and so if you add a new site, it still has to run on all the sites. Is that what you're saying?
And uh, yeah, uh, Yurun uh, Boyan answered your question. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yes, that's uh, that's interesting um, and uh, way above my pay grade. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure that Bogdan noted that. I don't know if there's anything that can be done about it. But um, out of curiosity, how long does it usually take if you have to do that? And are there any questions? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, uh, what you're saying makes sense. I understand. Um, so I'm glad that uh, everything worked right once I got my sound uh, on my on my mic fixed. Um, it really should be cut and dry. This technology stuff. I've been only doing it for most of my life. Okay. Well, I, I uh, yeah, thanks for the feedback on that. Um, so, um, anyway, uh, let's see. I, um, oh, I wanted to bring up that I, I haven't had a chance to check, but uh, it looked like uh, last week uh, the Discord integration stuff looked like Isaac added some things uh, that you had mentioned that you wanted, Yos, or something like that. Um, I'm curious if you uh, if you had a chance to try that because that uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted to get a chance to test that uh, but I haven't had an opportunity yet. Well, Yarun, thank you so much for joining. I uh, appreciate it. Um, I know it's late where you are, so uh, you know work life balance, right? So, oh, you need to donate blood. That's even. Speaking of uh, the life balance part, right? That's the life balance. So, um, so uh, if there are uh, any questions, or once again, you know, I'm I'm going to keep throwing it out that if you guys have any suggestions for topics you'd like me to cover in an office hours, I'm all ears. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to keep uh, producing things that have to do with MainWP extensions and things like that, and and features and tips and tricks. And uh, so if you have any tips and tricks that you're doing that we uh, that we don't have a KB on or or you figured out how to do something a little bit out of the ordinary, I'd love to see it and I'd love to learn about it. Um, so uh, appreciate that. <laughs> well, thanks for your money, Yarun. <laughs> Yeah, the extensions are pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I'll be honest, at least for me, and, and once again, I, I don't manage a, a ton of sites, so most of my stuff is testing. Um, there are some extensions that I tend to gravitate to, and then there are some that uh, I've just uh, kind of toyed with. Um, but uh, sometimes people will come up with, like, a really cool use case, and they'll throw them at me, and... Uh, and I'll be like, oh, I didn't think about that. And then all of a sudden, I'll be really interested in learning more about that extension because these things are, I mean, the extensibility of MainWP, and I'm just saying this because I've been a fan since even long before I started working uh, with everybody here. The extensibility is just such a cool thing and that people can contribute to it and, and come up with new and interesting ways. It just... Um, Anything where possibilities are endless, you know, that to me is an adventure. So, um, so that's, you know, so I, I appreciate all you guys' feedback. So, um, have a good night, uh, uh, Yarun, and uh, be safe. Yeah, and Todd does a lot. By the way, Todd does a lot of writing, uh, as you, uh, some of you may know. Um, he does a lot of writing for MainWP, and so when things uh, are really cool, he likes to he likes to jump on that. Todd is uh, all over that pretty quickly. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Todd only writes about cool things, so there you go. Yes. 
<laughs> so. All right. Uh, if there are no uh, questions or anything else, then I'm going to call this one a wrap. And uh, thanks again, everyone. I really appreciate you all joining me and supporting uh, MainWP in this endeavor to get uh, some of these things out there so that people can can uh, you know improve their workflows and things like that. So uh, it, we couldn't do it without the community. So really appreciate it. Everyone have a great afternoon and uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And uh, I don't know if uh, WordCamp Canada is streaming, but if they are, um, watch my session. It might be interesting. <laughs> so, uh, and there are a lot of other really good speakers too. So, all right, yep. Get everyone on Discord, the more the merrier. Absolutely. All right. Have a good uh, day, good evening, and uh, good night. All right. We'll see you.